Salute, salute, salute. Blessings, blessings, blessings. It's nocturnal thoughts. Real quick video. I'm gonna get out the way. Um, first of all, let me get a shout out to 903 Boxing with the host Charles J. Um, I really didn't have nothing I was thinking about, you know, making a video about today. And um just came across 903 and he was talking about the press conference, the kickoff for um Devin the Dream Haney versus Regis the Rugaru Progress. And you know, Charles J is very entertaining and um he just pulled me into the whole event. Now, I was looking forward to this fight anyway, but I didn't think that I didn't know when they was going to jump off the press conference. So I said, let me go check out this presser. Let me go listen to these these, you know, uh young gentlemen, you know, spit their game and do their thing. So um I thought it was a good press conference, to be honest. I thought it had some entertaining value to it. Um, I just think on the whole, overall, this is a good fight and it's a dynamic fight. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those um, styles make fights. Um, and that's what I wish. Battery low. That's what I wish that the topic would just stay on, to be honest. Just styles. Because we all know that Devin Haney is a more of a technician and he's more of a, a a boxer. He was naturally gifted to be a boxer with great defense and great a uh, great jab, and um, he was born with that special ability to you know hit and not get hit um, from from yay high from since he was a ankle biter. You know he kind of was raised in the boxing gym and we all know the story with you know bill haney and devin haney regis the ruru -Ru progress we know that he really um got a late start in boxing and his boxing style is not the um aesthetically pleasing boxing style the swift light-footed you know saying jab 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 slick float like a butterfly sting like a bee type of fighting style that's Devin Haney. Devin Haney is the float like a butterfly and try to sting like a bee. Regis Progress is more of a brawler. He's more of a street fighter. He's more of a, a um, maul and brawl and try to hurt you. You know what I'm saying? He's he's awkward. He's a southpaw. And he, he, he you know what I'm saying, he tries to break you down, maul you down, um, chew you up and spit you out type of a style. And uh, he's not the he doesn't have the greatest, greatest footwork, but he does have good upper body movement defensively. He's always moving around. He's always, you know, what I'm saying creating little spots, fighting in the pocket. And he a lot of chopping shots, a lot of powerful chopping, awkward shots. Now, we know that normally if you get a guy with a great uh, jab who's very defensively responsible, that knows how to stay on the outside and, and just box and box and box and punch your face in with a strong jab and a one-two, one-two, and they'll stay out of the uh, harm's way. That style usually would trump the style of somebody that got to work his way on the inside, you know what I'm saying? Dip and dodge and get in and slip the jab and get down low and always be moving and, and then start trying to work the body, throwing uppercuts, Work the hip, you know what I'm saying? Hit you on the shoulder and break you down. It's it's just basically the Muhammad Ali versus Joe Frazier type of dynamic. You know what I'm saying? Skill for skill. We know that the skill of Devin Haney usually comes out on top of, uh, you know, a brawler, puncher, mauling type of a style. But they both are very effective at what they do. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I like Regis Rugeru's, um his journey. I like his backstory. I like his style. I like that he's, you know what I'm saying, a, a family man. And um, just to me, to me, he's kind of a, um, a, a, he's not a big, big talker. You know what I'm saying? He tries to be um, articulate and effective when he speaks. He tries to say what he mean and mean what he say. And he's just a straight laced, you know what I'm saying, dude that came out the trenches and made something out of his life using his, you know what I'm saying, hands to eat. And I salute that all day, every day. We know that Devin Haney, his father, 
recognized that his son had a gift and a talent and he honed it and he harnessed it and he developed it. And they, they journey have been through where they have made great maneuvers to be in a position to, you know what I'm saying, capture and be at the top of the game. And I salute that as well. That's it. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to the criticizing of Devin Haney and they try to play off this whole, you know what I'm saying, street ninja versus a, a, a suburban ninja, all that talk, that's where I feel like this, I hate when they try to use that dynamic in a fight. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I really do appreciate what Bill Haney did have to say, and he's been saying it forever, and I always saluted that, is you don't have to be from the gutter to be tough. Yeah, it's cool to have them Roberto Durans that come out of nothing. It's cool to have those Manny Pacquiao's that come out of nothing. It's cool to have the Mayweather's that came out of, you know what I'm saying, turn nothing into something. It's, it's great. That's always a great story, and most great, great fighters do come out of, you know, humble or or or, or poverty poverty stricken areas where you have to fight to survive and that's how you get your your gilded shield your strip your strength and your heart and your tenacity but Muhammad Ali came out of a two-parent household a lot of great fighters came out of a two-parent household a lot of great fighters grew up going to church and they just knew how to fight learn how to fight or was just tough or had a chip on their shoulder you know what I'm saying it's just really a boxing style at the end of the day you know what I'm saying of how you genetically gifted and how you how your IQ is so it's going to be an IQ versus an IQ. One IQ is a more of a style that's trying to break you down and hurt you and stop you. Another is a style that's more, um, like I said, aesthetically pleasing, working behind the jab, um, staying uh, swift-footed and dance on the water and not get wet. The only criticism I have for Devin Haney, because I'm not a huge Devin Haney fan, but I do respect him. I do salute him. And I keep looking forward to him taking on tough competition and fighting and, you know what I'm saying, keep building up his his career. But I don't, he is one of those kids I feel like, you know, his dad allowed him to cuss. His dad allowed him to kick it with, you know what I'm saying, women. And, and his dad kind of was like, I'm going to raise you in a professional way, but I'm going to let you be tapped into a little bit of street mentality. And I think sometimes I feel like Devin Haney gets criticized for being kind of a soft suburban kid because he acts like he's so tough. He is tough. He's a natural born fighter, but I don't like, I just don't like to hear, uh, a, I would like to him to, to tighten up and be more professional. If he go, he going to do what he going to do. He going to say what he going to say, but I'm be honest with you. When I hear him get on stage and he's like, shut the F up. You a B I T C H N I G G A, blah, 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 blah. blah. Like, you know, I don't want to hear that from this kid. You know what I'm saying? I just, that's just not, that doesn't, um, do anything for me to make me like, you know, if you're going to talk that talk and you're going to talk like you're from the streets and you're going to talk like you just grew up out of the trenches, you're going to talk like you just only know one way to be ignorant and grow. And you just grew up like that and you don't know no different other than to, to, to talk ignorant and, and, and act, you know what I'm saying? Like you just had to go through that grind and wasn't like you grew up in a professional polished life. You grew up in the, the dirt and the grind and the, the, sh the shit and that's the only way your mind can really operate. It's the function to be like, you know, some, some people just can't be no other way. And when they like that, I salute them. It's like, that's just how that is. But you, but you've been shown two different worlds and you choose to still kind of uh, govern yourself in a manner that kind of makes it look like, I, I hate this. This is what I do hate. I'm not going to lie. Because I've been, I grew up multi different ways. Started off, it was going to be all good. Then, you know what I'm saying? And then we kind of would go like this. We all, we went from a nice neighborhood to a bad neighborhood, to the projects, to a better neighborhood, to a, you know, grew up in Atlanta, Georgia, Decatur, Georgia, right off Decatur, uh, right off uh, Candler Road on Tilson Road. I done been to other little hoods and I realized one thing. In America, all hoods are kind of the same. All spots where it's poverty or crime or, or low income or people that's struggling all around where I've been, it all kind of look the same, smell the same, and people are the same. The women need to be the same. The, the kids be the same. It just kind of be the same thing. So I never understood. I get it. It can swallow people up. And some people can't never get themselves out of that. But I did hate when I got out of that where I would see people that wasn't growing in it 
but they would get older and then just go try to live that lifestyle because they thought it was cool. And then for the rest of their life, they kind of messed up their life trying to be something that they wasn't or didn't have to be. That always irritated me. So when I see somebody like a Devin Haney, who's on the top of a professional sport, I would like to see him carried a little bit differently. Be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? It's ironic to me when you got a dude like Regis Progress, who we know, you know, kind of grew up a little bit more through a little bit more of a suffering situation to be up on the stage and conduct himself more professionally. And then have a kid like Devin Haney, who we know grew up a little bit more protected, honed his skill, tough boxer, fight everybody, not taking away none from his skills and his, his mind to fight. That's solid. But like as far as his attitude, as far as I'm going to carry myself like I am from the street, I wish he, I hope he grows out of that because it's not necessary. I think if he carried himself a little bit more professional, I, I would like him a lot more to go beat Shakur and Tank. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like that'll make it look like your mind elevated. I don't like to see cats talk one way and walk another way. Like, don't talk the Muslim talk and then act the street act. Or I don't don't I just it's hard to explain. I'm not trying to use it against them. I like Devin Haney, but that's just one critique. Get up there and talk like a professional boxer. Don't go up there and talk like, you know what I'm saying, you from um just uh, uh, a street level of, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with being from the streets. There is nothing wrong with being from the streets. But at the same time, there's nothing wrong with growing up with some type of privilege in your life and having some things that you ain't just always got to be a have not and a hard not and grew up without this and grew up without that and grew up not knowing what it was to feel that people loved you and cared about your future. And you know what I'm saying? Like tried to raise you when you did have good birthdays and good Christmases and you did get the shoes you want. You know, there ain't nothing wrong with that either. So this is boxing. It really ain't got nothing to do with that. So I, I hate even spending time on it. But that's the only thing when I look at Devin Haney that I wish wasn't even part of the sequence. The whole, you know what I'm saying? Suburban versus the ghettos. It's like, just boxing skills. Devin Haney got great boxing skills. And of course, you don't have to grow up in the hood, in the ghettos to have great boxing skills. But growing up in the hood, in the ghetto, do sometimes develop a little bit more of something that not even boxing can really take away. So even if I feel like Devin Haney's skills should be able to defeat Regis Progress, but that don't change the way I really salute Regis Progress for making something out of his life. When, you know what I'm saying, he grew up with a little bit more um, against more odds. So I'm still going to salute him. I'm always like Regis Progress walking out there with his son and they both got the Ruru mask on. You know what I'm saying? And to me, Devin Haney is a kid and I just, I'm like, I'm watching him grow up. And there's certain things I, you know what I'm saying, can appreciate. And there's some things that I still would be like, yeah, man, let's, let's, let's still refine this. Cause like even when he was going back, when Devin Haney was going back and forth with the strength and conditioning coach, and Bill was like, "Okay, chill, son. Let, let's let let's let the man talk." I, I still thought that was uh, saluted because I feel like Devin Haney getting then he started talking too much. It's like just let your just let your your skills do the talking for you in the ring. You ain't got to get up here and and talk so tough. You know what I'm saying? I, talk boxing, cool. But then you start talking kind of tough and it just, you know, for me personally, I don't, I don't, I don't dig it because I don't really think you cut like that. You cut to be a great, great, great skilled boxer, period, point blank. And that's all you need to be. That's great. That's fantastic. That's saluted. You ain't got to even carry the torch of, you know what I'm saying? I'm from this area and I'm representing this and we come from this and we come from that. That don't even, we don't even care about that. All we care about is them boxing skills. And you know what I'm saying? Skills pay the bills at the end of the day. And you just keep on being great. And when you beat, and when you're a great boxer and you great successfully, your whole personality can just be that of a great person. It ain't got have it don't have nothing to do with, you know what I'm saying, trying to convince people that you still tough, even though you wasn't raised up in a real tough uh 
poverty stricken environment. You know what I'm saying? That's my thoughts. My next video, I won't talk nothing about all that dynamic. I just want to talk about Devin Haney jab, Devin Haney defense, Devin Haney footwork, Regis Pro Gray's uh, upper body movement, his counters, his power, you know what I'm saying, his awkward style, and keep it about boxing. Let the best man win. Nocturnal thoughts. Salute. Salute. Bow.